Welcome back. I can't believe it's a day seven of our series already. So only three days to go till the end. So good job for practicing yoga and meditation every day. If you haven't watched the video from Headspace yet, watch it now. It's a very, very cute video, which is one of my favorites. I really like the idea about focusing on happiness of others. And at the same time, it brings happiness to us as well. And then the second idea that happiness can only exist in this moment and that we should look around ourselves and see what we have already, because we have quite a lot and there are so many things we should be grateful for. So on this note, let's start in a tabletop position. So take your time to get there, but whenever you're ready, your knees can go underneath your hips and your hands can go underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide. Let's do a few cat and cows to arrive to our body and to arrive to our yoga mat. So with inhalation, gently arch. Exhalation, round. Inhalation, arch your back gently, look up. Shoulder blades can go together. Exhale, round your spine. And when you round your spine, continue to push the ground away from you. Fingers spreading wide, knuckles pushing down, belly button towards your spine. Continue with the cat and cow, but if you'd like, you could, you could add a little movement, for example, a figure eight to one direction and then to the other, or simply continuing with the cat and cow. Come back into the center, then tuck your toes and let's meet in our downward looking dog. So maybe staying still or walking your dog. Again, few options. You choose what feels good for you in this moment. So observing our body, observing what our body needs in this moment. Then you can put your feet together and then bring both of your heels to the right and then bend your legs and feel a gentle stretch on the left side of your body. Then come back into the center, heels to the left, bend your knees, feeling the stretch on the right side of your body. Come back into the center and then start to walk your feet to the front of your yoga mat. Grab the opposite elbow and just hang in there. You can keep your legs bent as much as you'd like. Your head is relaxed, so you can shake your head as if you're saying yes, as if you're saying no, to relax your head. Then put your left forearm on top of your left thigh. Keep your right leg straight, left leg is bent, and with inhalation, lift your right arm up towards the sky. So here we twist through our middle spine. You can always add uh, your hand on top of your chest and then twist so the movement comes from your spine. And then let's make big circles with your right arm as if you want to draw a big zero. So big circles from your right shoulder. Check your breath, take an inhalation exhalation and then lower your right hand right forearm on top of your bent right leg straighten your left leg left hand can go on top of your chest on top of your belly and then gently twist to the left side through your middle spine and then whenever you're ready you can lift your left arm up as well Let's add big zeros with our left arm. So drawing a big zero, feeling the movement in our left shoulder. As big as zeros as it's comfortable. And 
and last big zero. Then lower your left hand, bend both of your knees and with inhalation sweep your arms up towards the sky, lift your heels up and lift your arms up, staying on our tiptoes, continue to reach up, take an inhalation, so lengthening our whole body and then exhale, lower your heels down, lower your arms by the side of your body. If you're not in the front of your yoga mat, you can step into the front. With inhalation, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back, hands of your choice. On the exhalation, hands down. Now bring your left foot back into a high lunge with inhalation, arms up. Let's meet in a warrior two, so open up to the left side. Arms are shooting to the sides as if you'd like to lengthen your arms to reach something what's in the sides. Your left arm can be the same line as your left shoulder. This way we can activate our left shoulder slightly as well. Then lower your right forearm on top of your right thigh and with inhalation lift your left arm up. So we have a straight line on the left side of our body. So from our left foot to our left fingertips. Inhale. On the exhalation bend your left arm, left elbow towards your ribs. Let's do it a few more times. So inhaling, lengthening. Exhale to touch. Chest is open, one more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale to touch, then lift your arm back up, straight line, let's meet back into a warrior two, keeping the right leg bent, right leg is active, left glute is active as well, so you can take your left hand, put it on your left glute and check if it's engaged, and then Check the distance in your legs and then bring your left foot slightly closer and straighten your right leg. Push your hips back, extend your right arm. Imagine you want to reach something in front and then lower your right hand next to your right shin or to your ankle or on top of the block, wherever it feels good in our triangle pose and lift your left arm up towards the sky. Here, keep your belly button towards your spine. No need to go very deep. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Engage your core, maybe with the help of your hand. Push yourself up and then bend your right leg back into a warrior two. Maybe once again extending, making a gap bigger between your feet. With inhalation, lift your arms, shoot your arms to the side, inhale. On the exhalation, square your right foot with your hands, bring your right foot back into a high plank. Take an inhalation, exhalation, knees down and tuck your toes, lower your whole body. And with inhalation, gently lift your head, shoulders up, glutes are engaged, kneecaps are gently lifting, the tops of your feet pushing down. Inhale, exhale, tuck your toes, downward looking dog. Then lift your left leg up towards the sky, bend your left leg, and then imagine your left foot wants to go to the right side, lower it down and sit down. So now we are facing the back of our yoga mat. Here you can point your right foot and then lift your hips up. You can stay on your left tiptoes and if you'd like maybe left arm up. Staying here, glutes are engaged. Take an inhalation. Exhale, one more time, inhale, 
On the exhalation, lower your hips down. Let's do it one more time. With inhalation, lift your hips up, engage your glutes. Exhale and lower. And last time, inhale, lift. And then let's move back our left hand on the top of your yoga mat. We are in a high plank with the right foot down, left leg is lifting. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, lower both of your knees down. Lower your whole body. One more time, inhale, gently lift your upper body up. Exhale, downward looking dog. One more time, same leg, left leg lifts up. Bring your left foot into the front of your yoga mat. Your right foot meets your left. Bend your knees and rising our arms up. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Check your breath. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. Reminding ourselves of this idea of bringing happiness to others. So maybe that's your mission of today to make someone else smile. Maybe sending a nice message or doing something in real life as well. Take an inhalation, exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Next inhalation, lifting arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back. Abs are engaged. Exhale, hands down. Now your right foot goes back into a high lunge. Inhaling, arms up. So even though we go slightly faster, we want to keep the control and stability in our body and to focus on the transitions. So we not only want to focus on the poses themselves, but also on the transitions. So really exploring the feeling while we are transitioning from one posture to the other. Now take an inhalation. On the exhalation, let's open up into a warrior two. Sorry, I'm facing my back to you. Then extend your arms by the side of your body as if you want to reach something to the sides. Right arm is the same level as your right shoulder. So keeping the right shoulder slightly active as well. Left leg is bent, right glute is engaged as well. Inhale. On the exhalation, lower your left forearm on your left thigh. And with inhalation, right arm goes up, straight line on the right side of your body. When we lower our left forearm down, still try to keep the engagement in your upper body so not collapsing on our left leg. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, bend your right arm, right elbow goes to your right ribs. And let's do it two more times. Then let's meet back into a warrior two, lifting yourself up. Then extend your left leg, shuffle your right foot slightly forward. Imagine that you want to reach something in front with your left hand, pushing your hips back, and then maybe gently lowering your left hand on top of your shin, your ankle, the block, and then opening up your right arm up. Belly button is going towards your spine. So we, we are stable in this position. Take an inhalation. Exhalation. One more cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your belly button towards your spine, lift yourself back up, maybe make a bigger gap between your feet, open up your arms wide once again, breath in, and then with a breath out, hands 
in the front of your yoga mat, move your left foot back in a high plank with the right foot only on the ground. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, lower your knees down, lower your whole body down. And with the inhalation, little, little gentle lift up. Shoulder blades going towards one the other. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, tuck your toes, downward looking dog. Now in a downward looking dog, lift your right leg up, bend your right leg, and now your right foot wants to go to the left side, lowering right toes down, lowering hips down. Then whenever you're ready, start to lift your hips up. You can stay on your right tiptoes, maybe lifting your right arm up, engaging your glutes, maybe pointing your left foot. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. On the exhalation, lower your glutes down for a moment and then lift yourself back up. One more time, lower glutes down. Lift yourself back up. Lower glutes down. Right hand goes into the front of your yoga mat. High plank on one foot. Keep your right leg bent, maybe right foot pointed. Take an inhalation. Exhale, lower your right foot down, knees down, lower your whole body down. And with inhalation, opening up our chest. Staying here for a moment. So for me, opening up our chest symbolizes Gratitude, being grateful of what we have already, being grateful of what we have in this moment. And at the same time, it symbolizes on focusing on happiness of the others. So as the Headspace video showed, take an inhalation. On the exhalation, let's meet in a downward looking dog. Then lift your right leg up towards the sky. Bring your right foot into the front of your yoga mat. Your left foot meets your right. Bend your knees and with inhalation, sweep your arms up. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Interlace your fingers behind you. Open up your chest. Maybe super gently lower your ear towards one shoulder towards the other. Inhale. Exhale. Let go of your hands. And let's make our way down onto our yoga mats. Put the soles of your feet together and open up your knees wider apart. Here, imagine that you want to continue to open up your knees wider and you want to bring your knees closer to the floor just using your leg muscles so not helping with our hands but using our muscles check your breath inhaling exhaling continue to open up take an inhalation Exhale, then come back into the center. Open your uh, feet slightly wider and the legs bent 90 degrees. Just a few times, both knees to the right. Let's make a twist, spine twist, look back. Then to the other side, both knees to the other side. So to the left, spine twist back as if we want to look back. Glutes are engaged. Come back into the center. Sit in a comfortable seated position. So maybe cross-legged, maybe pillow underneath your sit bones. Put your right hand on the ground, right fingertips on the ground and lift your left arm up. Gentle side bend on the left side of your body. 
Then let's swap sides, left fingertips on the left. Inhale, right arm up. Then come back into the center. Open up your arms wide apart and let's just give ourselves a big hug for doing this yoga practice. Open up your arms wide apart. And then lower your hands down. Okay, so as always, you're welcome to stay in a Shavasana for slightly longer. Um, so you just lay down, close your eyes and try to let go your whole body to relax your muscles in just a few moments. And then whenever you're ready, you're welcome to do a meditation. So even though I'm suggesting to do a meditation after the yoga asana practice, but you are very welcome to do the meditation in the beginning. So whatever feels more natural for you or whatever feels better for you in that day. So there is no correct or wrong. So good job on completing the day seven of our series. And I will see you tomorrow for our day eight. Also, if you're using Instagram, you can make a post and put a hashtag mental clarity series so I can see that you're doing the series as well or just tag me and then I see the post and then I can reshare it with my community as well. So I hope you have a beautiful day and see you tomorrow for a day eight of our series.